If you're watching this video right now, you're probably interested in cranking out a bunch of SEO focused blog posts or articles without actually manually writing them yourself or paying someone else to write them. And today I'm going to show you how to do just that. There's a ton of different AI writing tools out there, but with the release of OpenAI's new custom GPTs, we actually don't need to use any of them. So all you're going to need is a subscription to ChatGPT, which will run you about $20 a month. And then you'll be able to train your custom GPT to be your personal SEO writer. So let's jump into the computer and walk through exactly how you can set this up for yourself. Okay, so now we have ChatGPT pulled up here uh, and we'll go ahead and assume that you've already subscribed to a premium account so that you actually have access to ChatGPT4 and the explore page right here so that you can actually build your own custom GPTs. Uh, so first we're going to navigate over to explore. And this is going to bring up my GPT. So create a GPT. Now a GPT is basically just the ability to create your own little AI bot. So you can train it to do basically whatever you want and specialize in whatever you tell it to. So for example, let's say you wanted to create a custom fitness GPT. You could basically instruct it to give you a workout plan for any type of muscle that you give it. So you could say, I'm doing a workout for my biceps today. Can you give me a five-step workout plan that I can use when I go to the gym today? It'll then spit that back out. And that's basically its whole entire existence. It's a specialty. You tell exactly what to specialize in and it'll do exactly that. So for this example, we are going to be creating one that will be our blog writing or SEO focused writing GPT. So first thing you're going to want to do here is create a GPT. Now, the awesome thing about actually creating a GPT is that you don't need to know how to code. So you can actually talk through the GPT writer here in normal English, and you can basically teach it to do exactly what you want in normal language. So that's one way you can actually start out with it. The other is to go to configure here, and I've actually made a SEO writing custom GPT instruction cheat sheet. So if you want to, you can go straight to this. I'll include it in a uh, link in the description, and you can basically just copy everything in here and paste it into your own GPT, or I'll actually include a link to the GPT that I'm building right here. So the first thing you'll want to do is we'll grab the description here. Now the description is going to be a basic description of what this GPT is going to do. So first we can name it. I will say YouTube video SEO writing GPT. The description I will take directly from the cheat sheet here. So this GPT will help me write SEO focused blogs that rank for specific keywords. Now that's going to be the description, but the instructions is the very important part of this whole entire process. So this is going to be the part where you tell the GPT exactly what to specialize in and exactly what its job is. So this is basically saying, this is your job. Do exactly as I say, we'll go back over here to the instructions. And this is where I have basically typed out a bunch of instructions to feed to the actual GPT. Now you can copy these again, just word for word, or you can go through these and change it up. So if you want, you know, all of your blog posts to be a specific type of tone or structure. This is where you would actually type out your instructions and say, you know, use a witty tone, use a funny tone, an instructional tone. This is where you can include all of that information, but I'll just go ahead and input those instructions. Now the instructions that we have here are, you are an expert blog post writer specializing in high quality SEO optimized articles and blog posts. The first thing I will give you is the keyword or keywords that you're targeting. After that, you will ask me if there is any data points or articles that I should know about. So basically it's gonna say, I'm gonna give it a keyword and then I'm gonna tell it what type of data I wanna use. Once I give them to you, you're gonna ask me if there's any specific style or tone that you want me to write it in. Once I give you the style and tone, your job is to generate five SEO optimized blog titles and target the keywords I give you in the first message. Next, I will tell you which title we will go with. And once I've given you the title, you'll create an outline with H2 and H3 headings that are SEO optimized for the keywords. Once we've agreed on that outline, you'll begin writing the full article. You have to be super specific in your instructions. Basically, once I give you X, you say Y. Once I give you Y, you do X. You have to give it very specific instructions, basically like you're talking to a toddler here. 
After that, I basically just gave some overviews and, and instructions for each part of the task. Uh, so in the outline, create an SEO optimized outline with H1, H2, H3 headings that focus on the main topics covered, structure your outline based on top ranking articles for your target keywords. You can go through all of these and change these up to exactly how you want it, or you can use exactly what I give you in the cheat sheet. It's just things like, you know, try to make this 1500 words, try to make it natural looking, go out, do your own research. Because these GPTs actually have access to the internet through Bing, they can go out and find their own data and talking points that they can include in the article that you actually don't have to give it. Now, the third thing that you're gonna have to do here is give it a conversation starter. So in the cheat sheet here, the conversation starter that I tell it to give me is, please give me the keywords this blog post will optimize for. So basically it will ask me what keywords are we optimizing for in this blog article? I will give it the keywords and then it will go on with the instructions that I gave it to basically ask me the next question in the sequence. After that, it looks like we have everything good to go here. We will go ahead and click save. So clicking save basically is going to program this GPT and make it available for you to use. You can do anyone with the link, only me public. I will say anyone with the link for now so that I can include the link in the instructions below. And now we can actually walk through an example of how this works. Okay, and now we can actually walk through an example of how you can use this custom GPT to actually write an SEO optimized blog post or article. So for this example, I'm going to pretend like we are in the gardening niche and we're going to write an article in reference to how many people in the US are interested in gardening. Now, this is actually a technique for articles that I learned from Brian Dean, basically about how to get backlinks. So although there might not be that many searches every single month about how many people are interested in gardening, it could be a term that a lot of journalists or online writers are looking for and basically looking for that one piece of data that they can reference in their article. So doing things like, you know, how many uh, gardeners are there in the US or how many people own a car in the US, although they might not get a ton of traffic, the type of traffic they do get is often people that are looking to use that specific data in an article, which will then give you the backlink. So for this article, we are going to assume that we are targeting the keywords, how many people in the US are interested in gardening. Now I know that's super long tail, but we'll go ahead and give it to our GPT right here. So for example, we will say the keyword we are focusing on is the keyword we are focusing on is how many people in the US are interested in gardening. I'll go ahead and click enter. And just like in the instructions, it will hit me back with saying, before we proceed, do you have any specific data points or articles that I should be aware of regarding this topic? We can actually go and find the data that we want to include in this article ourselves. So for example, I just went and did a basic Google search and found that as of September, 2023, 15% of respondents age 18 to 29 years stated they are interested in gardening and plants. So we'll go ahead and just copy this stat. Please use this stat and please analyze this web page or any other relevant data points you can reference. And then I'll go ahead and just give it this actual website or web page so that it can use that data when it's writing. So now it's actually going to search Bing. It's going to find this actual web page. It's going to analyze it, read it, and pull out any information that it thinks it can use for writing the article for us. Looks like it's actually visiting some other websites as well. And just like we told it to, it's now giving us five SEO optimized blog titles focus on the keywords, how many people in the US are interested in gardening. Now, these are okay. They're not great. Gardening boom, unveiling and surging interest among US millennials and beyond. Exploring the green wave, 55% of US households dig into gardening. That one's okay. Now, when you're actually using this, the key is to always be tinkering with it. So basically use this as like you're talking to a real human, right? So if you don't like what it gave you, say, hey, give me 10 more. If you don't like those, then say, hey, 
you're not being creative enough or you're not focusing on the keyword enough, you can always give it feedback and it will literally talk to you like it's your assistant. So let's just pretend we like exploring the green wave. 55% of households dig into gardening and we'll go ahead and use that one. And at the bottom, like we instructed it, it says, please let me know which title resonates best with your needs or if you have any specific title or tone preference for the outline and eventual article. So I'm gonna say, let's go with the title. And when writing, please use a informational tone and feel free to use bullet points and lists if they make the writing to read. Perfect. So we gave it the title that we're going to use, and we also gave it the tone and structure that we want for this article. Go ahead and click enter. So it gave us the outline here. It included the H1, H2, 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 H3, H2, H2. Now that's okay. We'll just go ahead and run with this. But if I didn't actually like these titles or basically the topics that it's going to cover under each section, you can go back and say, you know, give me five new titles or give me another H3 under some of the H2s. You can fully talk to this thing like it's your personal assistant and make sure that you actually like the outline before you tell it to go ahead and write. So at the bottom here, it says, please let me know if the outline aligns with your expectations or if there's any specific changes you'd like to see before I start writing the article. Now, in the interest of time, I'm just going to say, let's go ahead and start writing the article, please, because we gotta be nice. So here it goes. So there it is. It gave us our full article. Now, without actually putting this into anything, it does look pretty short. And on average, you know, blog articles can be anywhere from, let's say, 500 to 1,500 words. A lot of the time, Google favoring those articles that are 1,500 to 2,500 words. So I'll go ahead and pull up Hemingway app here just to see what it gave us. I'll copy this over. And it looks like it actually only gave us 400 words here and the grade level is 12. So we could ask it to simplify some of the words, but what I really want to hone in here is that we can go back and ask it to actually elaborate to make it closer to a thousand words. So we'll say something like, this is great, but too short for my blog post. Please elaborate on sections and rewrite the post. So it is over 1000 words. Now we'll go ahead and start writing again. Uh, what I've really found is it takes sometimes like beating it into the GPT. So you could ask it, you know, 10 times, please write this a thousand words. It'll then shoot you back, you know, 500, then 600 the next time, then 800. Sometimes it literally just takes talking to it over and over and saying, that's not right yet. That's not right. Please keep going. We'll see what it gives us this time. Okay, and I just made a cut there because ChatGPT was taking a really long time, but it finally gave us the second try here at the article. So I'll go ahead and copy this and see, hopefully if it gave us more than 400 words this time. So it looks like it gave us 694. So like I mentioned before, I'll have to go back and say, please rewrite it, get it closer to a thousand words. Sometimes it just takes tinkering, but it got us to a pretty good point. And if you look through this, it is using that 55% of American households that I told it to use. It's also using other facts like 29% of all gardeners, 18.3 million new gardeners. So it is using a lot of data and facts that we asked it to go grab. So overall, this is a pretty good start to an SEO article. It will probably take some proofreading, but this is way quicker than sitting down and trying to write all of this yourself. So if you like this video, feel free to subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and happy to help in any way that I can. Peace.